Oi, you! Shut your mouth and look at my wad! Loads of money! This is a journey into money. Loads of money. Welcome back to Beeper Beef. This is the second channel for Finders Beeper's History Seekers. If you've not checked us out on the main channel, get over there and do that. So this is the third part of the head-to-head -head challenge, Matt versus Andy, and it's slightly different again. So we've thought, we've done the physical and mental getting lifts. Yeah. Then we've done shooting, head-to-head -head with the shooting. Skill. Skill. Skill challenge. And now it is money. So we have got 20 pounds each. Now, basically what we've got to do with that, we've got to try over the next 30 days to make as much money as we possibly can using only this 20 pounds. Or lose 20 quid. Well, yeah, there's, there's a possibility of that happening. <laughs> so we've got to do whatever we want, really. We can gamble it, we can buy stuff with it, we can pawn ourselves out. Well, I don't know. Well, technically, you don't actually have to use the £20 if you don't want. If you just want to save £20 till end of month and do fuck all, it'd make a shite video. Yeah. But actually, at least Day one, on. I've got 20 quid. <laughs> Day two, I've got 20 quid. Day three, 20 quid. <laughs> Yeah. I might do that <laughs> just, just every <laughs> single day. I've got 20 quid. So, we've got to be shit. It would be a shit video if we did that. So, but what I mean is, you don't have to use the 20 pound. If you want to go and beg on a street and make some money, you can do that. The things you can't do is one, you can't ask subscribers, friends or family to give you money. For donations. You cannot sell anything to friends, family or subscribers. It has to be people that we, we don't know. So like on eBay, car boot sales. Facebook. Facebook, that sort of thing. Yeah. Right, so we are back after a month. Basically, we've both had, like we said a minute ago, we both had 20 pounds. We had to invest it, use it, bet it, whatever we wanted to, as long as it didn't involve friends, family, and subscribers, which I've none of those have been anywhere near that money, to be fair. Um, so day one for me, I think I got a bit of a jump on you because I don't think you did anything on that I first didn't do anything. Day. Um, well, well, I'll, I'll I went. Yours. I went straight down to Tesco, um, and I bought three Samsung Galaxy Tab A cases. Um, so yeah, I'm just heading off to Tesco. I know that sounds really weird, going and buying things from Tesco to sell, but I actually watched a couple of videos about something similar to this, where people went round and had a look on the shelves where things were clearance and they were getting rid of stuff. So I'm going to go and see if there is anything, not like. Cornish pasties and, and things like that. Right, so we're here. Now, obviously we've not come to Tesco, we've come to just O, O extra. It's half past 10 at night. Right, so I found what I was looking for and it's this reduce section. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't always get good things in this little bit. Um, a lot of them, they bump the price up and then they reduce stuff but back down again. And a lot of them are things that people aren't just gonna buy off things like Facebook, like Slazinger leggings and things like that. So, I found, well there's three of them, that's good. I found something that might work. Now, I've got these Samsung Tab A um, sort of protectors. It's been reduced down from £7.50 to £2.25. Even if I stick them on eBay, but I'm gonna try them first, I think. Um, on Facebook Marketplace and see how they go. Because they're proper Samsung ones as well, they're not just the cheap versions. So hopefully, we'll get people interested. Right, I've just had a look on eBay and they're for sale for 26 pounds. So I'm hoping I can get an easy fiver out of these quite quick. Uh, I think they cost me two pounds 25 each 
and I went on and sold those for six pounds each. I um I posted it on Facebook twelve minutes ago. I've sold one already. So that I've sold it at six pounds, not five pounds. I've not even knocked it down, it's at six pounds. And because of that, I have now technically only spent 75 pence. So I'm 75 pence from making my money back. And then anything from that is pure profit. Right, can't actually believe this. So now I've got one guy coming to pick two of them up in the next five minutes. Now it's half past 11 at night. I've literally put these on, well, well I bought them an hour ago. There's two sold, someone coming in the morning. So they've all sold straight away. Anyway. I'm waiting for him to knock on that door any second. Literally lives five minutes away from me as well. Perfect. Right, so there we have it. We've got £31.25 there. So I had a, good, a decent start and you did nothing. I did nothing for about two or three days, to be fair. Um, I didn't know what to do, to be honest. I literally I hadn't got a clue what I was going to do. And I thought, I'm going to play safe. So I played safe for a month. You are you are Mr. Am, play safe. Play safe. What I did, I went on to Facebook Marketplace. So right. after, after two or three days of thinking, what should I do? What should I do? How can I play safe? Went to Facebook Marketplace and I trolled through the adverts of things for free. Ah, good move. So, do shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there was a load of shit on there. How can you sell things? Well, give things away, literally shit, but I did come across one thing, and it was quite relevant at the time, it, because Women's World Cup went on, and I actually got a four foot by two foot football table. Ah, a proper for food, free? Foosball table, That's for mean. free. And I went out that night, I think it was a Sunday night or the Monday night, uh, I went and picked it up. It was going to chuck it in the bin. I thought it was going to be shit when I got it. And it was, it is absolutely in, in good condition. And so I did put it on Gumtree. I put it back on Facebook Marketplace um, and things like that. And I did put it on there for about 25 quid. Two days in, I haven't bought anything yet. Uh, the reason for that, I've been doing a little bit of research, if you like. So, oh, I've still got me 20 quid. So I haven't spent a penny of that yet. I know Matt started because he's, he's already told me he spent so much of it, but I haven't spent a penny. But I've done a bit of research. I've been doing a little bit of digging. So what my plan is to do, try not to spend any of this whatsoever. So I might end up with just 20 quid at the end of the month. Now, my plan is to scrounge stuff and then sell it. So I've been on... Facebook Marketplace, I've been on things for sale in Doncaster and Mexborough and all the surrounding areas. I've looked at things for free as well. So what I've done is I've just been on Facebook Marketplace and I've been looking today and what, well I looked yesterday and I've looked today. One thing I missed out on yesterday, or well, believe it or not, was a boat. It was a little boat what you can row out to your main boat. Um, it was a bit of a Bit, bit of a mistake. I could have done it up a little bit. I could have spent a bit of time and energy on that. But I could have used it for a plant. It could have been a, a really good plant in somebody's garden. I probably got like about 10, 10, 15 quid for that. Easy 10, 15 quid. But when I rung the guy up, uh, it had gone. So I looked again today. And my missus looked today. And she spotted something. I've got it in the boat of the car. I've just been to pick it up now. Now, it is a football table. Um, one of those fuzzball tables. I picked it up for free. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So I'm just going to make sure everything works on it. Everything's okay. I probably could get about a tenner for that. So that's a tenner profit straight away. So that's what my method is at the minute, is see what I can scrounge, see what I can sell in 30 days. There you go. Decent size one. I'd put the back seats out of the car. It's had to do with this. So I might want to do a bit of a clean, but it looks in fairly good nick and for nothing what do you want for nothing that's a get a tenner for that probably you just never know and what did you get for it i've still got it <laughs> no way <laughs> oh my god i've actually been reducing it and reducing it and, reducing it and i've still got it at home oh no way i went good and i thought this is gonna be i've got to get at least something for it at least something and i've been I've, I've still got it, I thought, it's football season, somebody's got to get it. 
At least, I'm, if not, I'm chucking it in the bin. It's got, it's got to go. It's been on my dining room table. But I could for, sell it. Four weeks. I've put it on, I've relisted it and relisted it, and I've played the Symphony Bowl and everything, and it's still there. <laughs> Literally, I've got it down to like a five or something now. Oh it's still not there, and I can't believe it, I've still got it. What a, what a dumb take. Right, I'm gonna just stop this because I can't remember what I sold next. <laughs> right, so I went from my first success with the Samsungs, I was really impressed with that. So then what I did was I went round Tesco, Asda, Morrison's, all the reduced sections, so all the bits where they were flogging off ends of lines and things like that. Um, what, and you some cold meat or something? Not that sort <laughs> some of bread. Thing. No, I got, the next one I got was a Remington hairdryer. Um, I can't remember how much I, I bought it for now. I think it was about, about six quid. I can't remember, it was about six pound. I'll put it in the, in the bit of the video. Right, because of the success yesterday in Tesco, we're now in Asda Living. So, Freddie's got something we found that is going to be pretty good, I think. Right, so this time we have got a Remington hairdryer. It says it was £8.45, it's £6.50, but I've just been looking online and they're £25. So, we're going to see if we can do something similar with this one. Maybe get a tenner out of it, £10-£15 out of it. Right. Is that what we'll get, Fred? Yeah. Come on then, let's go. Right, so we're on day six. Um, I've been a bit quiet. I haven't really done anything for a few days. I've been a bit lazy. I've just got £12 for the hairdryer, which is a profit of £5.50, I think, something like that. Uh, it cost me... I've just sold it for £12 anyway, and it cost me £6.50. So, yeah, so £5.50 profit on that. I sold that for a decent profit. Then next up, I had, a, I had a bet on the Women's World Cup. That was my my next one. I'm going to take this £10. I'm going to be really risky straight away. I'm going to bet on tonight's football game uh, between England and Japan. Right, so we're at Coral. We're going to go in and put a bet on. Right, so I've had the bet on. Absolutely terrible price. But... It's money and I think it's a definite. I don't think I, there's a possibility I can lose this bet. So there we go. Hopefully that will just bump it up a little bit more. Right, all wrapped up watching the England match. We're winning 1 0. Half time. Oh, well, it's just past half time. So it's looking good, but it only takes one goal. There we go. Seven minutes to go. 2 0 to England. That's my money one. Right, so just been and collected my winnings from last night's bet. So I put ten pound on. So what's that? Nine pound ten pence up from that bet, which is always good. Bit more money. I think that puts us on about forty-five pounds now, forty-six, forty-five, something like that. So uh, yeah, we've more than doubled our money already. Uh, and I won on that as well. Um, <laughs> and then where did I go from there? I bought something else. <sighs> Oh, dear. Um, oh, a car seat, a baby's car seat for a car, well, obviously. Right, guys, so I'm back in Tesco. I'm taking a bit of a risk with this one, to be fair. It's quite a big item, and that's what I wanted to try and stay away from. But as the money goes up, I suppose I've got to start spending more money. So, yeah, we've got a car seat, brand new. Now, it says £49 on there, reduced to 20 450 however i've just been searching online and they're 99 pounds right i think the people are just outside now ready to pick this up so i'm hoping for a knock on that door and there you have it he's just putting it back in car now and there's us 35 pounds boom and i made a, a decent profit on that as well so at this point i'm doing really really well i think i'm up at about 45 pounds at that point in total <laughs> so i'm on 45 pounds now this makes me think that you've not done particularly very well now i have already prophesied that prophesized pro pro yeah i was being a prophet yeah, go saying on. that you would be mr cautious and you my guess would be that you ended on 32 pounds 50 from 20 pounds <laughs> so good luck with that <laughs> so what came next for you I again had a bet on the women's football. Did you? Yeah. This isn't the, my, my ruthless side. 
not ruthless, but non-cautious. I'm not ruthless. A, I'm not a gambler whatsoever. I can't gamble for love, love, no money. I can't win a one-horse race. So guys, um, just sat down. Well, I'm just sitting down now to watch the semi-finals of the Women's World Cup. Now, as you might know, um, I've got a bet on this for the England team to actually win the World Cup at seven to one. Put a five on it, you can get forty quid back. Now, I'm just about to kick off now. England versus the, state, the USA. Can't even speak today. I'm nervous. Nervous as hell. The USA are the world champions. So it is a tough game. So there's the team just coming on. Look at her. Big blondie. Lovely. Have a bit of that. Well, there we go. There's the England women's World Cup team. Now, I'll give you a bit of a, an update around about half time. Just to see how the score is getting on. So whoever gets through this, whoever wins this, is... I think is going to win the actual World Cup itself. That's my prediction. Right, guys, bit of an update. We're now on half time, and England are losing 2 1, which is a bit of a shame, but um, still got another 45 minutes. Hopefully, we can pull it back, at least get a draw, might even go to penalties. So, just got to keep an eye out. This is five of my money, and it could be turned into 40. If not, I've only lost a fiver, but I don't want to lose. I don't lose against Matt. I am getting more more competitive as the days and weeks and months go on because we've got quite a few more challenges to do. But half time, 2 1. Well, that's it. That's my bet gone. Uh, England lost um, 2 1 against the United States, so that's 40 quid gone. But saying that, a very, very good game of football. Uh, one goal disallowed. Uh, as offside, England were rewarded a penalty, saved that USA, well played to them, they are the champions, but I'm absolutely gutted, and I, but I'm also so, so proud of the uh, women's football uh, football team, done England really proud to get to the semi-finals, but it doesn't help me with the actual challenge, so I'm a fiver down, so I've got to start recouping some money somewhere, but well done USA. Bad luck, England. And I couldn't win this one either. <laughs> I had a five pound bet on England to win World Cup. And I got seven to one. And you would do. And, and this is before the semis. Right. So I thought, seven to one. They've got a good chance. I'll get 40 quid. And then the loss again to the USA. Yeah. This is before yeah. they actually got to that. Yeah. I thought... They've got, they must have a good chance, they've got to have a good chance, seven to one, I've got to try it, I've got to have a bet, and got nowhere, absolutely got no. I was gutted, and you'll see in the video as well, I was actually filming it as, yeah, as they were doing it, I was fine. <laughs> oh, you, you're having a bit of a nightmare, but you never know, yeah, it was the last one. Things, <laughs> may, things may change, yeah, things may change. Right, so, I've just had a look, I was on about 50, Six pounds at that point. Fifty-six pounds. Well, I want minus five. Well, Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I say you can't be on minus five. Um, yeah. So then I did really the only thing that I wasn't in control of, which was I had to go on the lottery, and I had a three-pound scratch card. Right. Just waiting for Andy to get here. Um, just about to go out on an explore. It's Monday. Uh, I've just decided to have a go on the lottery. I just thought, sod it, we'll have a line on the lottery and we'll have a scratch card. See if we can get anything out of it. You just never know, do you? Like, one one line could get me a decent amount and that wins it in one go. And it's only, what, £5 for the two things together. So it's worth a go. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Just a £3 one and also a line. Now, I've gone for the numbers quite close together purely because I just want to get a quick, cheeky three numbers. Hopefully get at least a couple of them. Right, let's scratch these off. The scratch card was definitely a waste of time, as I thought it would be. Just hopefully the sort of lottery ticket will get something for me, but I doubt it will. It was just a bit of a laugh to have that one on, to be honest. I like to be in control of things, and you've just got no control on that at all both of which lost so I've got nothing for that um, and then I continued my vein of betting 
<laughs> oh, no. by having football bets, which I had three foot, three or four football bet, bets, which then I turned the fifty-one pounds into a hundred and twenty. <laughs> So, what was your next little bit? <laughs> oh dear. So, like I said, I'm not a gambler. I couldn't have done that in a million years. I just I lost it. I had a bit of advice from one of my daughters. Right. And because I, at this point, I was getting worried of what I could do. See, I and got I, it in my head that you were going to invest it in an ISA over 10 years, because <laughs> that's the sort of bloke you are. No, I'd lose, I'd lose money on that, to be fair. I won't get a good, good rate out of it. I actually bought... I don't know whether you've heard of them. They pop vinyls, like the wobbly head things. Oh yeah, I have seen them. You've I seen them. Well, my called. daughter collects them, and she was telling me about these, which going for not bad money, not fantastic money. So I thought I might get a bit of profit. So I bought one. It was Kylo Ren from Star Wars. That's what I said as well. I don't know. I don't know. So she showed me it, and they're going for like fifteen quid on eBay. And I bought one for fiver. Oh, that's quite good. Right, guys, so we're into our last week of our 20 quid challenge. I'm just about to put some on eBay. Hopefully, I'll get a bit of money back from this. I'm not holding my breath, to be fair. So it looked like it could be 2 1 to Matt. Well, 2 1 to me. Um, but we shall see. So now I've got this. So now I've been told by a good source that these are quite collectible. Now, the good source is my daughter, to be fair, and she's got about 40 of these. Um, but I did have a look and see what they were going for on eBay. And I bought one at half the price of what's going on eBay. So, it is these pop vinyls. Now, got this one. This was um, half price. I uh, one at Toy Superstores. So, I'll go for a fiver. So, that's another fiver gone. So, I ain't got much left, to be fair. Um, so these are going for like 14, 15 quid on eBay. So hopefully I should get my money back for that. So it's a Star Wars one, Kylo Ren. It's got the lightsaber what lights up as well. I haven't been out of the box. It's completely brand new. So I'm going to put that on, see how I get on. I'm going to put it on for five days. Hopefully it should finish before the end of this because like it's the last week. Hopefully I should get some interest. If not, I'm stuffed. But it looks like I'm going to be stuffed anyway. But I've had a go. I've had a good crack. Um... All credit to Matt if he's done it, but he used to do this time and time again, buying and selling things. So I've got, I'm quite confident he's going to beat me on this one. It's in his comfort zone. It's slightly out of mind. I don't know what I'm talking about, don't know what I'm doing, but there you go. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you back into my dining room because I have still got the shittiest bloody... Well, I'll just turn you around. Well, hold on, I'll just turn this around. That, I have still got that. That is the football table, which I got for free. I got that right at the beginning, week one. I've still got it. I put it up to 25 quid, reduced it to 20, put it down to 25, and I've still got the bloody thing. If it hadn't gone by the end of this week, it's going in bin. So, this is just killing me. We can't use dining room table. We haven't used it for about three weeks. Yeah. Oh, did you sell it, though? No. <laughs> no, nobody bought it. Oh, in a week. Oh, my God. Oh, my nobody God. Nobody bought it. It's still there, it's still sat there. Nobody bought it. Fucking thing. That's fucking brilliant. How can I, how can I buy something and not sell out? So is that is that you done? That's me done. So you're on ten quid. I'm on ten quid. You started with twenty and you're on ten quid. Yeah. But the thing is, on Saturday, oh. I went to the casino. I don't want to know. I took a hundred and twenty pounds with me to put it all on black. Did it come in? Because I was on £120 and 34 pence. Mine just went in. I kept the 34 pence. But I went into the casino first. <laughs> I went into the casino first and the table, because it was early on in the day. And Don't because I'm, I'm getting palpitations. <laughs> the, there was only the £50 maximum bet table open. So that meant I had to have more than one bet. So I put £50 on black. And I'll show you what happens now. <laughs> right, guys, so 
I'm in Sheffield. It is the last evening of the Head to Head Challenge. And you know what, so far, it's been a bit boring. When we were in London, I was gonna do a bit of a running round, getting people to pay me to do stupid things. But because we were so tired and because of everything that had happened jumping off the bridge, I did not get a chance to do that. So I'm gonna stick with what I actually originally thought I was gonna do. I've got 120 pounds, that's what I've made. I'm going in here. Now, anyone that doesn't know what that is, that is Napoleon's Casino in Sheffield. I'm gonna put it all on black. And I've got in total 120 pounds and 34 pence. So if I lose, I will have made 34 pence and I will definitely have lost. Because Andy will be really cautious with his money. I know what he's like. He's probably got 35, 40 pounds, something like that. I'm gonna try and film in there, but you're not allowed to. So I'm hoping that I will um, be able to get away with a bit of covert footage. Yeah, I would think so, yeah. At the end of the day, at the end of the night, so whatever. Straight down on black. Black, yeah? Black. yeah, yeah. That's from black. We had, there was a croupier, a boss, and three others round us, as we were being rowdy. Ah. Oh, I, I won two you grand. Win, that's good, though. I won two grand. But it's only purely because a friend of mine kept taking money off no, me. Kept taking money off me. Yeah. And, and that was more it. than me, though. Uh, were, you, were you there for business or pleasure? Oh, no, just a laugh. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah, just stag weekend. Stag weekend, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was it. But I didn't know what Thank I was doing. So, Cole, as you can see from that, my 50 pound bet won. So that doubled up to a hundred pounds. But the woman on the table said that I could leave that on. So I left the hundred pound on. My age. <laughs> what are you laughing at? No need for that, is there? Don't start that shite now, you're going to headache before we even got to bed. Right? That's a long one. Yeah, that's a long one. Yeah. No, I have one. You have one, <laughs> and that one as well. <laughs> so I ended up on two hundred and seventy pounds and thirty four pence. So not bad, really. And you ended up with a tenner. <laughs> So yeah. Oh my God. So I've won this challenge. I can't believe I, I came out with all that from 20 pounds. But that just shows different approaches, how it can make a big, big difference. One thing is I've never done it before. He's done buying and selling in the past. He I, knows what to look for. I ain't got a clue. That's why I've played safe. It used to be my job that I used to be an antiques dealer. Selling I don't bet. I don't, well, no, I don't bet because I don't know what I'm betting on. I do a bit, but not very often. Uh, I don't gamble. I gamble for years. Is that the same as betting? Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like, on roulette tables and blackjack and things like that. So I don't play poker, ever. So I don't know what I'm playing. I'm useless. And I thought, I'm not going to come back with nothing at yeah. all because that's what I would. If I would have put that tenor on, I would have come back with absolutely nothing. So I thought, stuff it, I'm keeping the tenor. Yeah. I'm not even going to do it. I'm going to come back with something, if, if nothing else. And... I could have literally walked out with nothing, with 34 pence. I gambled it right, because I thought, right, he's, there's a possibility he's on roughly the same as me, I don't know, I need to make sure 100%, and I fucking did it, and I, I went absolutely over the moon, absolutely over the moon. He's only fucking gone and done it. Yes, 20 pounds I have turned into to well basically when i first got in there i thought oh shit it's a 50 pound maximum bet so i put 50 pound on on black it came out so then i put the whole hundred that i'd just won on again on black and that one so i turned that into 200 so obviously i'd still got um 70 pound left from the previous one i thought i'm stopping there 270 pound and 
34 pence from 20 pound that is me that is i'm done i'm not betting anymore i'm not doing anything else if andy has beaten me then good on him because i'm really happy with 270 quid so yeah i've won this one so it's 3-1 now 2-1 3-1 isn't it walk shooting yeah that's it no there is something else in there no that's it two one oh i'll take three one at least i won some i'm sure it was three one but yeah definitely that's all we've done walk and shoot him then we started this when we come back maybe we have yeah we haven't done anything else all right fair enough two, two one. one brilliant and i've got my money i can't believe that so this is... Uh, I knew you said you, you thought you were thinking about doing all or nothing towards the end of the I said it at the beginning, I knew I was going to do it, even if even if I'd been on a thousand pounds at that point, which I wouldn't have been, but if I had, I would have stuck it all on. Board. I would actually contemplate on putting that last turn on the lottery. Thing is with the lot, I don't like the lottery, I didn't well, want to do the lottery. I were going to do the Irish lottery. Yeah. Because I had one big... Years and years and years. That's because you've got ago. some dodgy back back room scheme going on. I did. I know how to work win on the Irish lottery. If you've got a lot of that, if you've got a bit of that, I, I know a, a way of doing it. I've actually got banned from William Hills years ago. <laughs> I got kicked out of theirs because I was winning. Um, but I didn't. I haven't had a tenner, so I thought yeah, I'm going to keep it. You can't do that. I can't do it with a tenner. I need ten times more than that. Hundred and fifty. Yeah, 15 times more than that. I can't believe I risked it all now when you've only got a tenner. Literally, I could have lost on that. Yeah. But anyway, it's been really fun, this one. It might not make the best of videos. I, we've had a good laugh doing it, and I hope that comes across in the... Uh, the in the videos, yeah. <laughs> You'll see me in my house crying, literally crying. <laughs> That's brilliant. Shouting and bawling at a fucking stupid football team what's still on my dining room table. Divorce proceedings in our house, literally. <laughs> That's brilliant. We, we, we actually cleared the dining room table at the dining room out a few months ago. We thought we were going to start using the dining room table and now I've got a dining, football table on the dining room table. Wow. She's kicking up a fuss. Sorry, Lindsay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Well done. Well done. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. I can't believe that. So that's challenge three completed. Andy won the 300 mile challenge. Andy also won the shooting challenge. And to make it 2-1, I won the money challenge. With five rounds left to go, the competition's heating up. Comment down below who you want to win.